Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull market, what's going on with the stock market world. Please subscribe, click like button, thank you very much. Let's move to 5 rules of risk management. Always use these rules for your trading. Rule number 1, never lose more than 1 bar. Rule number 2, never add to a losing trade. Rule number 3, always use a hard stop. Rule number four, once up two bars, move stop and do not lose any money. Rule number five, once up three bars, move stop and let winner run. If you follow these rules, you will be successful. Let's move to VBull. VBull. If you want to learn more about VBull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading um, uh, VBull setup and trading view setup and other links about all my trainings. Let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving average white line at MA200, white uh, yellow line at MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator, RSI indicator, awesome oscillator indicator. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved in the traders but if you follow the indicators you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions let me show you how it works you see here ma5 green line did bullish crossover over 10 it's entry position it's daily time frame i'm using daily time frame for entry and exit position for swing trading when i enter here when ma5 did bearish crossover i'm sorry bullish crossover i do put stop over here right that's kind of let me show you the line the previous bar stop stop over here that's the stop position right and i can if market change direction to bearish i could lose only one bar or i had i had ability to gain multiple bars right same here when my five did bearish crossover i did short the market and i did put stop where entry was over here right the previous bar it was over here let me show you i did put stop entry over here green bar over there right this is my stop in case if something happened or you can move the even you can put this stop right if something happened if market goes to the wrong direction you your position will be closed you will lose only one bar but otherwise you will gain multiple bars look at it even from here, right? Same story. By here, my five did bearish crossover. Short the dollar. Short the USA dollar and put stop over here, right? The stop of the stop here. Even in this case, you can put it even higher a little bit because yeah, it should be put at least at the May 200 because the May 200 is a strong resistance. Same here. You could put it in, in the May 200 because the May 200 is strong resistant level. In this case that's how it works very simple and you see it's still bearish you see last bar it's very disconnected from a5 from 10 from 20 it definitely wants to bounce now it's time to sell this short yesterday it was time to shell to sell because it will bounce especially look at it on other sides very over short a very oversold position very oversold it's time for bounce Daily time frame bullish. I'm sorry, daily time frame it is still bearish. Bearish for USA dollar, it's a bullish for equities. Let's move to Qs. Qs, nothing happened today. Qs still same price action. It did move up today and it was sold off. It was sold off, but it closed flat. It closed flat, no gain on the market. No gain for Qs, just flat, right? Let me maximize it. And remember, it still has, you see, multiple gaps below, multiple gaps. One, two, three, right? Four, five, before 200. That's what it can close. That's what it can close. Go back to 200, close all gaps. A bullish trend with bearish divergences. Bearish divergences on all indicators, right? Trend still bullish, last bar disconnected from May 5, 10 and 20. For our time frame, same. I'm, let's go back to, to daily. Daily, this bar 
if you name it, it's a tail bar, bearish tail bar. It, it can be reversal bearish tail bar. You, that's absolutely possible. You never know. We'll see. Okay, uh, let's move to 4 hours time frame. Bullish trend on all indicators with bearish divergences. Bearish divergences on all indicators. Same pattern, nothing changed since yesterday. Nothing changed. In one hour time frame, it's already in bearish reversal signal. Last last six hours, it did bearish reversal signal. In my five, did bearish crossover. All indicators in the bearish reversal signal. VXN volatility index minus half percent on daily time frame still bearish. It is bullish for Qs. SPX, SPX also flat today, no, no, no gain today, flat day, still bullish trend, it also left, you see, 5 gaps below, even more, 6 gaps below before 200, that's what it can do, it can go back to 200 and close 6 gaps. Uh, still bullish trend with bearish divergences, multiple bearish divergences on all indicators, but trend is still bullish. For our time frame, same bullish trend with bearish divergences on all, on all indicators, still bullish trend. One hour time frame, it's already bearish reversal signal on all indicators. And remember, still MA5, 10 and bars above MA20, it is still positive territory. But it's already gave us bearish reversal signal on all indicators. Let's move to VXN volatility index minus 2%. Let's see daily time frame. VIX volatility index for SP 500. Uh, in bearish reversal signal already. It is bullish for, for, uh, for SP 500 still. Let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones was kind of, yeah, still a quarter percent up, kind of flat, right? Nothing special. Still flat, price action still the same, with bearish divergences on MACD, on the, on the RSI, on awesome oscillator, bearish divergences on all indicators. But trend still bullish because last bar still far from all moving averages. For our time frame, bullish trend, bearish divergences on all indicators, everything the same since yesterday, nothing changed, except one hour time frame. Uh, even a, a one hour time frame, last bar is still above all moving averages, it's still positive, still bullish. Still bullish, even some indicators already bearish. VXD, VXD volatility index for Dow Jones. It is positive bullish, it is bearish for Dow Jones. IWM, only IWM today was negative. IWM was negative almost 1%. Let's see, one hour time frame, it, it did bearish reversal. One hour time frame, it did bearish reversal for IWM. IWM did bearish reversal last bar and my 510 below 20. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. On one hour time frame, it's already in bearish reversal signal. Four hours time frame, it is still positive, still bullish. Still positive, still bullish because the last bar is still above me, about 10 and 20. Below 5, but still about 20 and 10. And daily time frame, let's see daily time frame. Uh, it's a red bar, it was positive, you see it was the same level like yesterday, and it was sold off recently. Uh, still bullish trend on daily time frame, still bullish trend with bearish divergences, no changes since, yeah, for last three days. Still has gap, it didn't close this gap, that gap still open, it's a yeah, small gap. Now it's at 20 cents only. Still has gaps below. Let's move to Apple. Apple flat today. 
No changes, daily time frame, last bar, last three bars on the same level, same price action below MA10. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators on daily time frame. 4 hours time frame, let's see. MA5 with bullish crossover, last bar is still below 20. On 4 hours time frame, a last bar is still below 20. Still for last 10 days, it's still below 20. This kind of negative position, but negative signal on all indicators. Apple looks like wants to have some correction, right? And one hour time frame, it was positive for a couple of days. It's still positive because last bar is still above all moving averages. It is still bullish. Only Apple on one hour time frame still bullish. Tesla. Tesla, let's start daily one hour time frame. No, not just Apple. Tesla also on one hour time frame. Tesla still bullish on one hour time frame. Four hours time frame for Tesla. Also still bullish. Last bar still above all moving averages. It is still bullish trend. With bearish divergences on all indicators. Bearish divergences. It means Tesla wants to have some correction. And trend still bullish. Also daily time frame. Price action is bullish. Price action still, yeah. Last bar still bullish. Bullish trend on all indicators with bearish divergences on all indicators. Bullish trend with bearish divergences on daily time frame for Tesla. And let's move to BABA. BABA bullish trend on all indicators. Last bar disconnected from 10 and 20. It left gap up. Still bullish trend on all indicators for daily time frame for BABA. 4 hours time frame. Also bullish trend on all indicators. No changes. You see my 5, 5, 10 and 20 did bullish crossover. It is powerful bullish crossover. Bullish trend on 4 hours time frame for BABA. 1 hour time frame. BABA did bearish reversal. MA5, 10 did bearish reversal over 20. It is bearish confirmed reversal trend signal because bars and moving averages below 20. It is bearish reversal on one hour time frame. And let's move to NVIDIA. NVIDIA one hour time frame also bearish reversal signal on one hour time frame on all indicators. It did it did move above 480, right? It was a nice move. Since 150 was nice jump. Nice, nice jump 480. And after that it did bearish reversal. It did bearish reversal. Six bars bearish reversal. Absolutely. Interesting. Nice move from from 450 up to from 460 up to 480 and bearish reversal. Four hours time frame. It is still bullish. It did tail bar on four hours time frame previous. Four hours tail bar. It's a bearish reversal tail bar. You see here when it did that kind of tail bar, it did reversal. We'll see. Still positive, still bullish on daily time frame. It is yeah tail bearish hammer bar bearish hammer bar bearish reversal bar uh, but still all indicators still positive and last bar still above all moving averages it is still positive bullish location bullish signal to have full bearish reversal we need bar and ma5 and 10 move below 20 to have bearish reversal confirmation so far it's still Still positive bullish. Okay, let let that's all. That's all. Let's move to 
let's let's do summary let's do conclusion what's going on and remember it's uh, no fear on the market absolutely only maximum extreme greed it's extreme greed usually from this level market can change direction to bearish it doesn't mean that we'll do it tomorrow or today or monday it can do any time but remember we are getting in this seasonal it's the biggest season of the year the first two quarters usually positive and the next quarter third quarter it is negative and from the mid, mid, middle of july usually market can change direction to bearish reversal and it can be bearish august september october that's what can happen be ready for it it can happen i don't know i don't have crystal ball i'm not sure i i just follow the market market still bullish no confirmation of any bearish reversal signal yet still bullish only bearish divergences on all indicators it definitely tells me that market wants to have correction because of the bearish divergences multiple bearish divergences multiple indicators it definitely wants to have correction how long will be correction how deep will be correction i don't know i will follow the market and i will tell you when we, we will get full confirmation of bearish reversal so far we are still bullish that's all thank you so much let's move to disclaimer i am not a financial advisor this video for educational informational purposes only and remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading simulator and i would recommend you to use paper trading simulator until you will be uh, permanently profitable constantly profitable then you can switch to real money but ne before you're permanently profitable on the on the on the, on the simulator don't go with, with real money to real life because 90 percent of traders they are losing money thank you for watching simple trading style video uh, i do publish daily updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe to youtube channel click like button to support the channel i really appreciate all your efforts and tomorrow I will publish weekly and Sunday will publish monthly update for cryptos, for indexes. And thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.